Hey guys, welcome back to another texture video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this little laptop I bought for $3. It's actually not really a laptop, it's more of a tablet since the keyboard can be disconnected, but the person I bought it from just called it an RCA laptop, so I'll just call it a laptop for this video. On closer inspection, I can see that this is an RCA Cambio W101V2, a very budget-friendly Windows 10 hybrid laptop from 2019. It's not a terrible condition aside from quite a few dents and scratches and a missing key. The first thing I did of course was try to turn it on, but nothing happened. I plugged it into charge and I could see a blue charging indicator so I left the laptop to charge for a while and then tried to turn it on again. This time I got a battery icon with a yellow triangle. This is usually a sign that the battery is either too low to power on or maybe that there is an issue with the battery. I let it charge for quite a while longer. But when I tried to power it on again, I still got the same thing. I thought about opening the laptop up and checking the battery connection, but decided to first try a random combination of unplugging and plugging the laptop back in and pressing the power button. After a little while of doing this, it suddenly came to life, showing the RCA logo and a Windows 10 startup spinner. Apparently it was in some kind of deep sleep because it got right back to doing what the previous owner was doing last time they used the laptop, which was playing Ninja Painter on CoolMathGames.com. Based on the names of the files and folders on this laptop, this was definitely someone's school computer so I'm assuming they didn't really like this laptop and when school was over, they just decided to get rid of it. So far, so good. I didn't start running into trouble until I tried to reset the laptop to delete the previous user's files. Apparently the storage was full and the Windows installation needed a lot of storage for a reinstallation, so I went through and deleted all the documents and downloads, but that still wasn't quite enough room. Looking around for things to delete, I found the windows.old folder, which contains system files from previous versions of Windows that can be restored in case a Windows update causes issues. This is no longer needed if you aren't having issues, so I decided to delete it, which could make plenty of room for the reset. Problem is, the user that is currently logged in for some reason doesn't have permissions to access this folder. I tried to give the user permissions to delete this folder, but no matter what I tried, it kept saying it didn't have permissions for this folder. After the fact, I do now realize that you can actually go into the storage settings in Windows to delete this file, but at the time, I had no idea that existed, so please hold back the comments telling me I'm stupid. Sorry, I missed that and promise to do better next time. Anyway, I decided to restart the laptop into the Windows recovery environment and boot into an admin command line to delete the folder or change the permissions. It sounded like a good idea in my mind, except that you need the account password to get to boot into the recovery command line, which of course I didn't have, and I didn't even want to try and guess the password, so thankfully you don't need the password to do a reset from the recovery environment, and apparently it doesn't need as much storage space as the reset option on Windows. So quite a few hours later, we've got a fresh install of Windows 10. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. This is the really old version of Windows 10 from 2016, so as you can imagine, Windows had some updates to catch up on. So another 5 or so hours later, we finally got a fresh and updated Windows 10 system. So let's take a look at the modest specs this laptop boasts, because I actually don't know anything about this laptop. We've got 32GB of internal storage that can be expanded using a microSD card, and an Intel Atom Z3735F processor clocked at 1.33GHz. Now this is a 64-bit processor, but the version of Windows 10 installed is only the 32-bit version. At first I assumed the 32-bit version was just cheaper and that may be the case, but when I looked at the Windows 10 spec requirements, I noticed Microsoft recommends at least 4GB of RAM for the 64-bit version, while the 32-bit version only needs 1GB of RAM. And since this laptop only has 2GB of RAM, that could be the reason it's running 32-bit Windows 10. So yeah, pretty low spec and unfortunately only a 32-bit operating system, but honestly the more I use this thing, the more I like it. And yes, it's pretty slow, like sometimes it gets completely stuck on things, but it's fully usable. And it's extremely compact design makes it super portable. And the fact that you can charge it with micro USB makes it so that you don't have to bring a bulky laptop charger everywhere with you. Another cool thing about this thing is that you can use it as a laptop or a tablet and the keyboard doubles as a tablet stand when you put the tablet in backwards, which is pretty cool. But anyway, let's go ahead and clean this laptop up. It's not filthy, but there is some grime and the back of the tablet is kind of sticky from rubber reversion. Using some screen cleaner, rubbing alcohol, and a microfiber cloth, I got this laptop looking pretty nice. While I was cleaning the screen, I noticed there were some very deep scratches all over it, and I was wondering what someone could do to scratch it that much. 
But then I noticed that there were these little air bubbles in the corner, and I realized that there was a screen protector on the display that was all scratched up. So I peeled it off, and now it's looking really nice, almost like new. This laptop is also missing some feet, and unfortunately I don't have any replacement feet right now. That will have to be a part of some future restoration projects. Anyway, now that we've got this thing cleaned up, let's talk about what it can and can't do. Starting with Wi-Fi. For some reason this laptop has a very weak Wi-Fi antenna, to where it sometimes only gets 2-3 to three signal bars even when you're only a few feet from the Wi-Fi router. This makes connectivity sometimes pretty slow and unreliable, often to the point where the Wi-Fi just randomly drops off completely. I'm not sure if this is something wrong with just my device, or if this is an issue with this model, but it would definitely be annoying to someone who is using this for serious purposes. Of course my main purpose is just to play with this thing, and it does still do internet stuff pretty well. For example, YouTube videos played great if you keep the quality below 1080p, and some little online games played fine as well. Windows gaming worked great as long as you kept with old or low resource intensive games, and I've definitely enjoyed playing with this laptop. I'd say it's a $3 well spent. Like I said earlier, it's not fast, but its small footprint more than makes up for that. Windows 10 works great on this laptop, but I kind of like the thought of trying some Linux distros on here. However, it looks like this laptop isn't well supported by very many Linux distros, and booting from USB also seems to be a bit of an issue on these laptops. So for the time being, I'm going to be leaving Windows 10 on here, but if you have any ideas for projects I could do with this laptop, I'd love to hear them. If you have any other comments, ideas, or suggestions about anything else though, please let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you all. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to join the channel by dropping a subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.